<laughs> going on people welcome to your celebrity contender grudge match vlog and as you may or may not know i'm fighting at the o2 on the 29th of june for a very good cause um mental health awareness we're raising a lot of money for a charity um i was fighting on the bill already um and then plot twist it turned into a blood brothers season two um grudge match I was scheduled to fight. Um, I was scheduled to fight someone. Flyers done everything like that. Um, as you know, season one, um, United Stand versus AFTV. It kicked off on the pitch between me and DT. He went for Mark. I had other ideas, and yeah, that spilled over onto onto Twitter, social media. It got very personal, and yeah, it's a fight I tried to get made. Um, for one reason or another, it didn't happen. Um, he was saying he can't pass medicals, etc, etc, etc It's white collar You don't need to pass a medical um, If you can play 60 to 90 minutes football You can get in the ring for charity For 8 minutes, 4 2 minute rounds we're doing So um, the reason that fight didn't get made I'm not really I'm not really behind that To be honest I think it just boils down to the fact that he just didn't want to fight me And that's fair So The fight's been made out of the blue I'm hearing Kieran, his son, 19 years old, talking smoke, saying how he's going to knock me out and he wants to fight me. He's contacted the promoter, said he wants to fight. The promoter said to me, do you want to take the fight? I said, fuck it, why not? Like, it's personal at this point. Um, yeah, he's saying he's been boxing since five years old, 19. That's 14 years. If he's been boxing for 14 years, then he should be, he should be quite good. He, well, he should be very good to be honest um so i'm looking forward to that they're very confident i'm giving away about an inch in height and at least a stone they're saying he walks around at 85 kg or something like that 14 stone they're saying i'm 12 stone give or take in it i walk around around 77 just underneath 12 stone so they're taller they're bigger they think that that's gonna win them the fight I i'm gonna knock him out to be completely honest it's that simple. So um, all of the talk will be put to bed soon for a very, very good cause. And then, as you know, I've also got my boxing gym now. We're doing a lot of stuff in the community, trying to get the kids into the gyms and yeah, off the streets. Um, youth clubs have been closed down, cuts, all of this bullshit. So we're going to be working close with the local community, a few foundations in boxing um, that I'm going to get funding from and we're going to do some, we're going to do some stuff for the kids, man. So, yeah, I'm doing a lot on my side. We do some more for charity at this event and obviously it's personal. I get to deal with, I get to deal with a few issues on the night. So, hopefully I'll see you guys there. And all you guys that buy your tickets, I'm going to put the link in the description. Once you get your tickets, send me a screenshot of your confirmation. You can come down to my gym, open training session. You can see a bit of sparring. You can see a bit of pad work and a bit of training, man. And yeah, just add to the overall atmosphere in the gym. Because on the night, there's going to be thousands of people. So I'm down for having a nice busy gym um, and having the people that support me and support the channel, brothers, and support the United Stand down at the gym to cause an atmosphere. So without further ado, guys, enjoy your vlog. All right, we're at the gym now. About to get that late session in. While he's eating his dry, unseasoned food, we're out here working, fam. Could I man them over there as well? Come on. Come, come on. on. Come on. Yeah, yeah boy. Who's that Yeah, bro, it's the heartbreak season. <laughs> you man come. It's heartbreak season, fam. My guy. <laughs> yes. My guy. Yeah, Are you yeah. messing me? Ask me where I am. You didn't send me the postcode, blood. He's throwing up, blood. Oh, my God, This guy, fam. Oh, I'm not gonna turn up to a place without the postcode, blood. My prick, fam. Less than that, blood. This guy thinks that this thing that we just think the same thing or something. Think we're Siamese twins, blood. Trust me, blood. These man just got a free narrator, blood, for the whole thing. Well, I better not be feeling them shots in the ring, blood. I better not be feeling any of that, blood. Trust me, I'm outside, blood. Oh, you man wearing head guards in the fight, yeah? Nah, no head guards, bro. Jeez, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm, temple shots. Nah, yeah. bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hand out a permanent migraine still. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no head guards, bro. Ooh. 
I'm hearing there's no head guards still. Tell you, see, all them haters, yeah, all them haters on my YouTube say that man looks like Deontay Wilder, really. Yeah. <laughs> you know them way there, blood. Is what it is, blood. You know what I mean? Man ain't a bronze bar, but man's a gold standard, fam. You know them way there, blood. The only reason why that I'm not on this charity thing because I don't fight with gloves on, blood. Josh Stow, blood. Jeez, fam. <laughs> Certain men are going down like they're eating a the fluff, blood. I'm telling you, bruv. Unconscious business, bruv. Look at that footwork, blood. See? I've got the dancing moves, blood. He's got the footwork, blood. Just stop! someone you know, I mean you're fighting someone that you just got bad intentions for bruv. It's a different fight. It's a different fight. But the man said he's been fighting all his life. He's what, 18 years old? What's bruv, the only thing man's been fighting his whole life, the only thing man's been fighting his whole life is obesity fam. I'm oh. telling you. <laughs> the shit genetics bruv. That's what man's been fighting. On the line he's gonna see bruv. It's peak blood. It's peak. Oh. Unconscious blood. If Sorry, you can do that to a man you box. love on boxing night, on fight night, you know them way there, blood. Just no blood. Jeez, fam. <laughs> oh my corner, baby. Yeah, he's getting snuffed still. He is. Train hard, fight easy. Baby oil on 
Oh, oh God! Good we'll fuck this suit up. <laughs> you got plenty of time, bro. With all the like knowledge and that that you got with you. Exactly. You know I mean? That's what I'm saying. Are we ready for whatever? When the time fight night comes, bro. Hundred. Loads of different styles. Loads of knowledge. Too much time, bro. Man, I have to go and make shoot. it a 12 round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make it no break. Right, hey, you know what? You should do that in the press conference, still. Just nah, say, yeah. you know what? Fuck all this 4 2s thing. Let's just go 12 threes. <laughs> <laughs> let's just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a press You should say, five, know, five, gloves are off as well. Should... Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Call him up, get his number now. You should probably call him up. You know, I was training. <laughs> but I know, yeah, look, it's 20 past 12 now. I know he's sleeping now. I know he's sleeping really? now. Okay. He's sleeping now, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Or, See, that's the difference. You know what I mean? That's it. He's either asleep or he's at home knocking one out. Do you know what I mean? And I'm right here, bruv. And that's the difference.